急に飲み声みたいですけど<笑> Oh, well, good morning. Hi.、Uh, welcome to Real Talk、uh, with、uh, Deb and Smiley Face.、Uh, good morning.、Uh, Smiley Face makes a, a, a return visit、uh, on another one of my.、Um, Cast,、uh, we, we brought Smiley Face along. And,、um, no, I'm hot. So she's a little warm.、Uh, I don't know, I'm fine. But that's how it is. Again, welcome to Real Talking Dev Will. It, it's,、um, it's been a pleasure、um, doing these things. Welcome to Monday. I, I hope, hope that your Monday is going well. I know it's still early.、Uh, or if you're seeing this, like when you come home Monday, I hope your Monday went well. Uh, Happy Monday. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Wonderful weekend? Menopause is the real thing. <laughs> I know. It's a struggle. I know. <laughs> Just do a little bit every day. That's really the trick. A little bit every day.、Uh, today's, um, today is、uh, the day subject we're going to talk about trust and trust、um, and as it plays out in relationships, especially because there are so many. Ways that trust used to play out in relationships. You know, there used to be the little black book,、uh, there used to be diaries.、Uh, people, people still keep diaries and journals,、uh, I keep a journal. that, that kind of thing.、Uh, but now, trust in a relationship plays out with the advent of the cellular telephone because so much can be. Stored and is stored and used on a cellular telephone. It, in your laptop. You know, on your laptop. Your iPad. You know, but a lot of times it's our cell phone because a cell phone is something that we, that we put in our pocket or, 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 or we stuff in our purse that is out of sight, out of mind most of the time.、Um, and again, it's something that, is, that becomes very personal to people、uh, because、yes. it's something that you have and it's yours and it's got your stuff on it.、Uh, and people keep their financial stuff on it, which is stupid. Don't do that. Uh, it's just stupid. Don't store credit card numbers in your cell phone. That's dumb. You know, and your、don't, social security numbers do, and all that. Don't do that. That's just a bad thing. Carrying your or, social security or, card. Or, or your passwords and stuff. People, people do that kind、mm-hmm. of stuff. So don't do that.、Um, not, that not that I'm paranoid about, well, well the, the, the Russians are going to hack you. Well, you know, it's just stupid. If somebody finds your cell phone, And th- you think because you have your little password on that, that you, you're going to be protected. Probably not. So don't do that. So cell phones, cell, phone, cell phones have become this thing where people keep their stuff. People keep their stuff that、um, may be personal, may be private,、uh, may or may not be, but it's the thing.、Uh, so that now trust sometimes plays out、um, through the cellular telephone. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And, what, and, you know, what, and that, what that could possibly mean, or if it, if it means anything.、Uh, we're not here to, this morning to say that if this happens to you, that it is a huge red flag in your relationship. It may or may not be, but、um, it's something that people are dealing with. And how this came up is that last, one day last week, I left my cell phone. Monday. I left my cell phone and.、Um, Rushing out the door, and, and, and I didn't realize it until I was at work and had to use a regular phone, couldn't text or nothing、What? like that. <laughs> had to use the phone on my desk. <laughs> What is this thing here? And,、um, why, are the, why are the numbers way over here and the listening thing way over here? What is this thing? Oh, they, they showed this thing on Facebook where the kid was trying to figure out the rotary phone. <laughs> The hell is yeah, that? These days don't know what a rotary phone is. And they, and they were leaving it on the receiver and, and dialing, and then they pick it up. And it's like, no, you have to pick it up and then dial. But it was really funny. It's a weird, a rotary phone's a weird thing. <laughs> We had rotary phones in my home for years.、Mm-hmm. So. It's a weird thing, though. But、um, yes. Back to the, the cell phone. So I called him up and I said, Can you、uh, bring my drop it off on、did、your you, way into did, work? Did you call me or did you send me an email? I called you. I picked up the phone and called you. Oh, did you? Okay.、Mm-hmm. See, it was a whole week ago. I don't remember. Yeah, I called you. And、um, usually we communicate through email, but I called you at that time because I, 
I think I was trying to call my own phone to see if it was maybe hidden in my purse somewhere, but... <laughs> Which does happen from time it to does. time. It does. It does. But, um, and so he had my phone for like half a day. Oh, three hours maybe. Yeah. Until I decided that I would drop it off on my... On my I dropped it off to, to, her, uh, to her office on my way to work. Didn't, isn't that what I did? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And um, so I noticed that when he was in, in my phone that he had been texting himself some pictures that I had on my phone. And so uh, afterwards I, I texted him. I said, well, did you find anything interesting while you were in my phone? Because I, I, he knows my codes and all that stuff. I, I really don't have anything to hide. So um, I said, did you find anything interesting in my phone? And why, why were you sent sending yourself pictures so um and you said what i said was there were some pictures in your phone that i that, that i wanted and there were some pictures in our in her phone that i needed uh, she had taken some pictures of us actually here mm -hmm. um and if you go to the youtube channel you'll see that that a couple of the thumbnails are that are, are some of the pictures that i took off her phone and sent to myself so that's what i did that's one of the some of them i wanted frankly and, and and that ain't none of your damn business. Um, <laughs> and others of them, um, I, 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 I need it for our YouTube channel and that, and, and there you go. And that, and that was the whole crux of the matter. So I came up with this idea that, you know, how many people can trust their spouse? Um, because I, I know, his, well, some of your passwords and stuff like that, but I don't really have the interest of even looking because my crap phone, is boring his phone <laughs> uh, or 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 his tablet or or anything like I'm, that and because i have to code to the tablet boring and it's, so boring yeah <laughs> my god mine's more interesting <laughs> boring because my life other than this is nothing it's boring other than what you see here and I got nothing going on. So it's important to have trust in a relationship. We have discussed that briefly uh, before on here, but um, nowadays it's, you know, there's so much social media stuff that can trap people. Um, I remember watching um, the Wendy Williams show and this girl was saying that she let her boyfriend of like seven years borrow her one of her old phones. She had a boyfriend for seven years? Was she 12? Yeah. And for seven years. Seven years? And she let him borrow her phone, one of her old phones, because his phone broke. And she, when she got it back, he was silly enough not to... He had been emailing different people on Facebook and Instagram and all these women trying to get their numbers and all this stuff. On her phone? On the phone she let him borrow. And she wanted to know if she should stay in that relationship. Not a trust issue. He's too stupid to be with. He's just too stu He's just too stupid. It's not even a trust thing. It's a, an intelligence thing. Yeah. He's do you dumb. really want to be with somebody, somebody who's that, that dumb? <laughs> to give the phone back and not clean it out or do anything like that. I mean, here, here. I was trying to get with some other maybe uh, other he girls. Was trying to give her a message and saying, you know, no, because guys don't think that way. Okay. Guy, that that's another step. No, guys don't look that way. No, so no. He wasn't really trying to break up with her. No, either. he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but trust is so important in a relationship because once you lose that trust, once you you um you feel like you've got to be checking on them and do you know looking in their emails and their Facebook accounts and all this stuff like that. That relationship is pretty much... That's got to be... And it's got to be exhausting. Yeah. It's got to be exhausting. It's got to be very stressful yeah. to feel that you can't trust somebody enough to have a Facebook account. Facebook. That you got that you have to have a super secret private Facebook account that, um, that your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend doesn't know about or doesn't have access to. Really? You trying to, you trying to hide on the internet? What? You are trying to hide on the internet? What the hell is wrong? What, what, what the hell is wrong with you? 
you're trying to hide on the internet. Um, me personally, I have probably, I don't know, I have a personal Facebook account that everybody can see. And I've got a number of group accounts that I'm either an admin on or, um, or I run for all sorts, all sorts of purposes. There's, there's probably 30 or 40 out there. Uh, all of them are open, actually for anybody, not just for Deborah to see, for anybody to see. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can see if there's any nefarious activities going on. Uh, the only one that that I run on our ran that doesn't have my name on it, it was the one for our our, our kitty cat that passed away in in in, in January. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the only one that, that doesn't have that doesn't have our face on it uh, because we we did it for G. So, but other, other than that, you, you trying to live in private on the internet? <laughs> Not too bright. Stupid. <laughs> that's what that it's is. Not it's too dumb. bright. And and if you do have problems with that, I mean, if you feel like your spouse um, has some issues where they can't, you know, resist uh, emails from females or, or gentlemen and stuff like that, then I do suggest, I, I know a lot of our friends, they have a joint Facebook account, you know, with their their, their spouse or partner or whatever so that they share it together and people can only email to both of them. And um, and not to say that people, you know, people do that because they don't trust, but people want to have things together. So if you have that issue, there's not a problem with that. But I feel like after so lo- many years in uh, marriage, then you... You should be able to trust that that person to 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 be an adult and manage their own account and do things. Well, yeah, and and, and 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 the idea is that that's sort of almost a symbolic thing, really, uh, because the, because the reality is um, you can still. I mean, you may have a joint uh, uh, Bobby and Susie uh, Smith Facebook account, but that doesn't stop anybody from using uh, you know a. So a a sort of weird sort of Gmail account they make up um, mm-hmm. to pass email around, or or even set up mm-hmm. another Facebook account. I mean, that, that doesn't stop yeah. anybody. So you can have these symbolic things um, that you do, but if there is, I mean, if there are real issues, then people can. There's a bunch of way people can get around that kind of stuff and will. So if you see that there's a problem, then then that that needs to be addressed early, immediately, early in a relationship and before it gets frankly out of hand mm-hmm. um, and because it, it may or may not frankly it may or may not be anything to start with it may don't, not, don't think the worst <laughs> don't go right to don't, don't go from zero to a hundred when it might not it may not have been anything to start with um, but if it's not addressed it may it, it may blossom into something and and we've we've all heard and seen stories that uh, what happens a lot of times is that these things end up being innocuous to start with and then grow and fester um, into things that are, 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 are damaging the relationship. So, again, address it early if you can and address it in, a, in as non-threatening a manner as you can or the non-accusatory way as you possibly can uh, because that's going to be really imp- really important as you move forward in in, in in these relationships to make sure that the trust bond isn't broken early and or is it broken for in, you know for a silly reason yes you know is it broken for the, for nothing the person could not be doing anything and just you know kind of simple and just don't don't really get get the whole thing and they could not be doing anything at all and you create a whole scenario in your head and I know we as women often create scenarios in our heads <laughs> that aren't even yeah um reality for instance because it's, because this is this is this is one of the Facebook problems uh, I don't communicate with anybody I knew from high school <laughs> other than other than Mark Nash and Jamie Osborne um, both of which, guys, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. I don't communicate with any girls that I knew from high school. Do I? You would have met them or no. I well, I or know no. one. Of, I'm a friend with one of your people you went no, no, to high school with. But you I would okay. Even remember. Let me let, let me help you. 
<laughs> my graduating class was 856 on my graduation. And we lost 100 people before that. So I went to a really big school. And I knew, I guess I knew who she was. I didn't know her. We ain't hang. Mm -hmm. um, you knew her mom. <laughs> I know her mom. Her mother was my bus. Her mother was my bus driver. So I don't. I don't communicate on Facebook or on Twitter or on, or on Instagram or on Snapchat because I hate Snapchat because it sucks. Uh, with anybody other than the two people I talked about that I'm from high school, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have anybody from high school on my Facebook page. And I've got four thousand Facebook contacts. And and that's because. He grew up in the big city. I grew up here in Tampa. In Tampa. Mm -hmm. Part compared of the big city. To, compared to where I grew up, I mean, I knew my high school, unless they were people that moved into the town or something later When they were on, in eighth grade. The, no, <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> when they moved we in. started in kindergarten, and many of you may be watching now. We grew we in Monticello, we were in kindergarten together all the way through high school. And if you showed up in first grade... You were that new kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there were several kids that were come, that came in. Sometimes that were like military kids that traveled or whatever. Whatever the circumstances of people coming in. But being from a very small town, we knew each other from kindergarten till we graduated. And my graduate, compared to him, his was like 900. Mine was 126 people. Which was just a little bit bigger than my PE class when I was a sophomore. <laughs> And most of them I am friends with here on Facebook. And that's something else that's a difference, too. Like, I don't have any of the stereotypical, oh, I want to reconnect for the people I knew from high school, because I don't have any of those. Hell, I barely, you know, went on Facebook connect with people that I knew in college. Um, barely and any I of them. I have a lot of those, too, and I, don't have... I went to a community college. Well, I went to a community college, and then off of Florida State. A smaller State. community well, college. Well... Not the time. HCC was was three campuses, yeah. but it was fairly small. But you know, it's, so you are, you have that dy you have that dynamic as well um, here online, and um, and you see a lot of people get in trouble or, or relationships get in trouble because uh, people are reconnecting over time on on with old boyfriends on social media and friends and that and, 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 and that kind of stuff. And I think you have to be real open while you're doing that. And I'm not saying. What I'm not saying is you don't have to go my way. And my way is I'm not intentionally shunning the people that I knew in high school or the people that I knew in college. I'm not intentionally shunning anybody. But the idea is that I still have a relationship with those people anymore. Um, and maybe that's my fault because I'm kind of a jerk. But the idea is that, that when if somebody does, then you have to be really open and you have to be really honest and you have to be really, really uh, forthwith about those relationships. Well, who's yeah. that? Well, it's a man with high school with. Oh, okay. And now, and if, and I am, and, and, and Debbie has a number of those people that she connects with, uh, and some of you guys are in the in, in, in the Facebook chat room, um, but she's really open about those really, you know, you know what, who, who these people are, and I've, and I have not had one single reason in the past, I don't know, 30 plus years. Well, as long as Facebook's been up. Oh, at least, at least as long as Facebook's been up. Two thousand eight, when we joined. But um, when, when, when did you get on Facebook? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. That's when I did, I think. Yeah, I've been on Twitter since two thousand eight too. So um, uh, usually, as soon as I friend somebody that you know, male or female, I tell him, you know, I found blah blah blah, and, and you know, and tell what our relationship was and all that stuff. So uh, as far as with social media. We have no nothing to hide when it comes to that. So, um, look through my pictures. <laughs> the only people that that, that I communicate with on on, on on a regular basis or on social media from college are people that we worked with. That are our mutual mm -hmm, friends, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes they show up, but they're they're actually working right now. Both of them are teachers, and they're working right now, so they're they're not in the chat room. Uh, they shouldn't be anyway. Uh, <laughs> You never know. Because y'all are working uh, in the school. So um, other, other than that, but I think that, that a lot of times that people are basically insecure, and because of their insecurity is where you have the initial breakdown in trust. Um, because people, and then of course the other, other people aren't aren't open. Uh, and, and again, if you ain't doing nothing, then you don't have anything to hide. You ain't doing nothing. 
You know, I say people, I just tell people all the time, uh, I'm not going anywhere, and don't nobody at this point, nobody else wants me. Hell, they don't even want me all the time. So where am I going? <laughs> where am Where am I going? <laughs> I am. I'll be going to. I'll be going to the kitchen to get some chicken. That's as far as I'm going. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it has a lot to do with going ahead and being open and being honest um, and, and and getting a foundation in a relationship that is secure to start with. I think that a lot of times people get involved, especially especially younger folks, or even even older folks sometimes. I think that they're, 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 the relationship wasn't very solid and didn't have a solid foundation to start with. And they may have, because of past relationships and past hurts, mm-hmm. be bringing those things in and are looking or waiting for the other shoe to drop. Everything is too good. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Uh, and as females, we create all kind of scenarios, scenarios in our mind that don't, you know, don't even exist. That, you, know, what do you, you know, I always say that you write the book, um, there's without, uh, you write the book, there is one sentence and now the whole book is written. Uh, the idea is that you that th- you found a an email address. Who's this? Oh, that's Betty Joe um, McGillicuddy. Well, who is that? Uh, so How do you know her? Somebody I work with. Really? I've never heard of her before. Well, there may be a reason because you don't work where I work. <laughs> <laughs> well, why do you have her email address? Because she gave it to me, and because we're working on a project together. Blah blah blah. But because of past hurts or, or insecurities, that bloss- that whole thing blossoms into something that it was never intended to be. And this, and this sometimes happens, and I'm not excusing guys for this, uh, because this is every bit as immature, the thing I'm about to say, every bit as immature, is that people say, well, if you think I'm cheating, I'm just going to go ahead and cheat. Well, that's stupid. Well, that, like, I'm going to go ahead, see, you think that I shot myself in the head, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot myself in the head. It makes no sense. What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, so, so, so it, it it is super super important to be as forthcoming uh, as you can, as early as you can in any of these uh, in these media social media relationships that you have. Um, and work relationships. And, if you're working with somebody sure. on a project, and you all have to go and meet and do things, that be forthcoming to your spouse about that, or, or your partner. Excuse, excuse me. Your partner about things uh, what that you're doing together with uh, somebody of the opposite sex. Especially. Or even the same sex, you know. You, you never know nowadays. Um, you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean, because that's, that's really the deal. If you can be as forthcoming as possible. Um, and, a lot of, and a lot of your friends will go, you shouldn't have to do that. Well, you know what? They're not in your relationship. Yeah, they don't know the boundaries and different things that you, the, the trust that you've made with your spouse. Don't let somebody else run your relationship because they'll ruin it. They will ruin your relationship because a lot of times, and and this is sad to say, people are jealous that you have a good relationship, so they find a way to sabotage it. They want you to be as miserable as they are, mm-hmm. because that makes them because that makes them feel better. Now, if you've got anybody in your life that that's like that, you probably want to excise them from your life. You probably want to get your distance from because them. Because true friends want you to be happy, and they rejoice they, when things go on. They want to well see your included. relationship go well. Yeah, I mean, you want people in your life that that, that cheer your relationship. Uh, they cheer your relationship success. And if you've got people in your life who aren't doing that, then you really need to re- you really need to reassess. Uh, so the idea is again, be as forthcoming as you possibly can, as soon as you possibly can, in any in these kind of relationships. And we've we've touched on on, on, on the trust on on, 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 tr- on the trust thing before, and we've also trusted we've always also touched. We have a YouTube video about same sex relationships. I mean, you know what, same sex fr- opposite sex opposite sex friendships. friendships um, and how important it is that those be exposed uh, for what they are as soon as possible, because that could be pot could be problematical. And what you want to do is you want to eliminate all of the variables as soon as you can. 
and be as forthcoming as you possibly can because that's going to it's going to actually maintain trust because you came out and said oh you remember so and so or let me introduce you to so and so mm -hmm. um, so when I come home and my head is stuck on my phone and there's this female voice from California la 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 for an hour <laughs> love you Shirley <laughs> for an hour is our is, 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 is my friend Shirley who's our who, whom frankly I have never let me help you I have never met I have never personally and physically met Shirley um, but Debbie knows Shirley now because I, I made I made sure and it was Elizabeth Blackney before that for from um, from 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 Blog Talk Radio um, but I made sure that Debbie knew who Shirley was who I was talking to Oh, it's Shirley Huzar. Um, and this is her Facebook page and blah, blah, blah. And this, and, and, and this is what we're talking about. And recently, Shirley actually um, corralled Debbie into being my co-executor on a project we're doing. So, And that was her idea. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really, really important. And if things had gone a little differently this, this fall, we were, we were both headed out to California. And we, and we would see, we would both see Shirley in person for the very first time. Um, but it's not going to work out that way, it doesn't seem. But again, even those work relationships uh, or project relationships be as forthcoming as possible. Be uh, upfront and, and don't like, freak out. Don't don't worry that well. If I say something, you know, they're going to think this and that and that. Mm -hmm. Let me help you. Like Debbie said about four times already this morning, is that women are going to create these scenarios in their head anyway, mm -hmm. and the best thing to do is make sure that they have all the right information. So guys, whoever it is, just say it is. You ain't got to say, oh, it was nobody. Don't say that. Because Be it's always honest. somebody. Yeah. It's always, it's always somebody. Who they are, what, why were you talking to them, why were they emailing you, what, be up front because the, the, the story is already creating in our heads <laughs> as to what it was all about. And if, if you're not, tell if you're telling partial truth or trying or, to or trying to or just trying to avoid the issue because you're afraid there's going to be some some big blow up uh, don't if, if if you're in in a relationship where you where you think there's going to be a big blow up it's probably better to have that little blow up first um, than and, for it to blow up into something huge yeah yeah so again trust is one of those things that you have to earn and then you have to cultivate yeah, you have to work on trust. It it isn't like you have it when you're 19, and 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 then when you're 59, you still have it, uh, and you haven't cultivated it. It's something that you have to plant and you have to work on, just like everything else. When we talk, when people tell you all the time that that marriage, especially, is not for wimps and it's hard work. That's part of the hard work. Mm -hmm. Part of the hard work is is cultivating and maintaining that trust. And you get more, and, and, and becoming, and what happens is you'll become, it'll become more and more open, and it'll actually, if you work on it, it'll be easier and e it'll it actually be easier, easier and easier, because the idea is that you don't have any secrets, so you're not running around trying. It, it, it's like when people lie, like you when you gotta keep up with it's like, it. It's like when your kids lie or your friends lie, and then they have to run around in this exhausting pattern trying to back up every lie, uh, trying to remember all of them. To make sure that they all go in order so they are manufacturing this story. It's exhausting. Because let me tell you, women keep stuff in their head. And they remember what you said. Well, you said blah, 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 blah. So why is it blah this? And, <laughs> and, and now you and now you And there you go. And, now you and it may have been innocent. You to may start have just, with. Yes, you may, may have been just saying, you know, no, it's she this is that and you know and but you're telling partial truths or omitting some things just be open just say that's who that was that's mm -hmm. who that was that's somebody I work with um, she's a little nutty or whatever whatever it is uh, just say it It may not always be fun in the beginning, but you'll find out that if you are, uh, that if you're open and you're honest and 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 you and you come with your hands open, this is what this here, what this is, 
you're going to you're going to you're going to build and cultivate trust because those those scenarios the uh, of truth that you bring will be verified and in the verification of those stories and those situations that's how trust is built well who's that and then they find out that's who that is oh and you go ain't that what i said yeah so take the take the eraser out and erase all the the 14 chapters that you wrote in your head because <laughs> what i said initially is oh that's some chick i work with and i helped her because blah blah blah, blah because she was her she had a flat tire um, that's important and i think that again when you when you want to be in a relationship for a long time um, and you want to have a good relationship for a long time because people are in a relationship for a long time that suck which is amazing to me mm -hmm. uh, it's like war of the, some people are li living in war of the roses some people have been engaged for 20 years to somebody why what the hell is wrong with you <laughs> yeah we fight fi you finally asked me to marry him it's been 16 years <laughs> so you know y'all was single for 16 years right <laughs> So you know that you shouldn't be mad because he went out and took some other chick out to the casino because you were single for 16 years. Yes. You weren't married. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's insane. But no, be, I mean, cultivate trust. Cultivate trust. Yes. Everybody wants to have some part of their life that's their life. I, I, I you, understand. You gotta have some pride. Some some part of your life that's your life, um, and that's understandable. But but that part of your life can't be the deep, dark, private, weird outside of your marriage, outside of your relationship life. That doesn't count. Sorry. Sorry. That doesn't count. Um, that can't be. Oh, I got a family across town, but that that ain't none of your business. <laughs> They ain't got nothing to do with y'all. And there's some, and, and I know, it doesn't happen, it happen in the big city very much. Actually, it does. Uh, but I know it happens in, small, in, in smaller towns where people, you know, have families across town. Uh, and the current wife or, or whatever is like, eh, okay. Because that's how they live. It's, it's insane. I know we've all heard stories about that. But um, I'm not talking, I'm not talking about that. Uh, because those are big things and that's ridiculous. Uh, but we all need that little that, 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 that little part of our lives that we can sort of keep a secret, um, that we can sort of just go to and not have anybody invade it necessarily, uh, and I and and that's and that is understandable. But other but outside of that, in in a relationship and especially in, in a marriage relationship, that you've got to cultivate the trust, yeah. and you've got to do that on an ongoing on an ongoing.